fallen from grace recently with Luigi and Ryu. Ryu, I definitely actually consider this, and this is a definitely a opinion that can be countered. Mm -hmm. I think Ryu is one of the worst characters in this game. I think he is low, low tier. Oh, you think Luigi's that bad? No, I think Ryu is that oh, bad. Oh, Ryu's that so, Okay, so here's the thing. I think right? Luigi's like bottom 15, at least. Luigi is like a... Well, so Ryu, it, it's hard to say because the biggest thing is that there are a lot of characters in this game where just the payoff is not immediately there fits the players. Right? I think Incineroar fits into that category. I think no, nothing that Incineroar really does, at least for combo potential, really pays off. I feel like after a bunch of combos, it becomes negative. And I feel like for Ryu, like I was talking with uh, Dila, who's a well-known uh, Ryu uh, Ken player from Tri-State, and like he talks about how his success in uh, Smash 4 Ryu compared to this, it's stuff like the focus punch, the damage output, or the damage that it needs to, uh, Ryu needs to take to get out of Focus Punch has been drastically changed and now it's a lot easier for characters to knock him out of that focus and it really hurts. I've seen a lot of people fall out of Ryu Shoyu and mm -hmm. it's just like not a lot of stuff is going Ryu's way. They didn't buff his speed or anything because Ken exists. You don't need the buff speed if you have Ken. Like it's, it's definitely tougher for Ryu right now and Luigi kind of fell into that same category where he, nothing much was given to him really. Yeah, so at least Luigi got like a, a, a few things, right? I mean, of course, like he has like his de devastating combo game, you know, even though the patch kind of changed a few things, he can still very much so get to go to death. Yeah. But one of the strongest things that I've learned from uh, Scott, who is our resident Luigi made in New England, who's arguably one of the best Luigi's out there currently, uh, actually sticking with the character, is that Luigi's Zare is ridiculous. Oh, right? it, it is absolutely ridiculous. Gives you th the craziest conversion, gives you grab, gives you whatever you want, but generally if you're able to do it while landing, and the amount of end lag on it isn't very high at all, so you can just kind of throw it out there willy-nilly and, and feel relatively safe. I think the biggest problem that Luigi has going for him in this game, and as that forward smash takes the stock, is the fact that Luigi kind of struggles with his approach options. Yes, he has the, the he has a long grab, but if you miss that grab, there's a lot of end lag going your way. Like, it's very similar to, like, not as bad, but very Luigi? similar to, like, yeah. So th that's, the, that's the thing that a lot of people don't know about, right? So Luigi, oh my god, yo, okay, okay. So that's something there, but that Nair getting out of it. But yeah, so for Luigi, his grab is deceptive, right? Because it's a tether grab, um, and it looks like it should be super laggy. But in actuality, his lag has the same amount of end lag as a regular standing grab for most characters. Really? So it's actually better than most people's grabs because it has the range, but the same end lag. So it's like, all right, cool, I'll throw it out there. It looked like a bad uh, a bad grab when it first came out. I remember when I first saw it on Twitter, I was like, oh no, they did Luigi dirty. Then I found out, yo, this grab is actually OD. Oh, that's going to do it. That That is a show you confirm, and that's going to take the first game going to the Ryu. I couldn't even actually read that name. What was it? Uh, we have, I believe, Sepko. Who Sepko. Is play no, Sepko's playing Luigi. Um, who Sepko as well, uh, Bizwar Gaming. Mm -hmm. uh, he does controller mod stuff, so especially in New England, he's like, I believe, like a computer engineer. Hit him up, hit him up. Yeah, he, he makes, he makes guap, but he likes just like tinkling with controllers on the side. He's very good at what he does. Usually has a booth that like shine. Um, very cool dude. Uh, he's up against uh, the Ryu player, as you mentioned before whom name escapes my brain for like just a second. We'll, find we'll, out see, we'll second. see it on the screen it was again. Really good and Weezer. Weezer. Weezer, that's what it was. Weezer, yeah. And Weezer, I feel like I've actually seen that tag before. I, I want to say he also played Ryu in Smash 4. Don't quote me on that, but I want to say that uh, was the case. Just because, I don't know, you, you see a lot of names when you, when you kind of commentate mm -hmm. for a while, right? And there are certain names that stick out to you. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen that guy before. Like, you, you definitely, like, it's also tough because there are definitely people that have the similar or same tag. Like, do you know there's actually another Drex? I believe it. I, I thought I was original, dude. I thought I was a special little snowflake. Bro, there's I another Flambo. I was like, what? Three, two, one, but there is only one Ryu that's false. Anyway. There's one Sepko. And I Sepko. tried to make a cool transition and I failed. <laughs> Trying to do the best, man. I mean, peep this, right? Like, trying to get these plungers, trying to get that conversion, because you know he wants to go for that grab into down throw nair, or maybe falling up air, and really convert like that. And Jesus, Luigi Super Jump Punch goes so high. Um, but Sepko just isn't able to really find his way in in the last set. This time, he's having a better job, and he's trying to do his best maintaining center. I mean, just look, right? Clean reading the defensive option from Weezer. Yeah, right now. Oh, God. Sepko kind of struggling to land on stage right now. He had the stage control for a little bit. Was edge guarding really well, but that forward smash from Weezer is just going to take it at 66%. Sepko already down a single stock here and already out of any, like, zero to death possible range. So now we just got to focus on, like, just 
throw uh, throw potentials and just uh, smash attack options that really kill quick here. The Tatsumaki right there. And there he goes again with the down B tornado. And that tornado actually, I mean, it still has, you know, even though it's not as strong as a recovery tool. Wow. Wow. Hey, he made that. Back. He made it back on that. I was, uh, I, you learn something new every day, right? I mean, yeah, this ain't Smash 4. You ain't going to get that single hit of Cyclone and just get the KO like that. But I mean, so there's a few weird things uh, with for you, right? You can't really, like, run at you and then turn around, jump back here, right? That's kind of like the thing that he lost. This is always facing forward. Sometimes when he wants to just face that back here with the jump, he, like, almost always has to, like, rar to do, like, an attack cap. Mm -hmm. It's one of those tools that he lost. But similarly, you know, even though Luigi uh, lost a lot in terms of what he was able to do in Smash 4, it got added into different areas. It's not necessarily a quote-unquote worst character, or at least that's what Scott thinks. Um, but rather that he had his moves repurposed, and there's just more characters in the cast now from the dealer. I, I completely agree right now. But uh, Weezer, I must say, at 150% here also, like this is a very dangerous situation. Getting the parry off and not really able to capitalizing on it. Like there's a different, there's definitely a difference between being able to get a parry and being able to capitalize on the parry. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that dif really differentiates. Like not a good and bad player, but like it really kind of shows the effort and practice that you put in stuff like that. You really, as that throw actually, goes, like you got to focus on being able to capitalize on those parries. I feel like Ryu, for as like negative as, as I think he is as a character, I feel like he definitely has a lot of good options to be able to come out parry. But right now, Luigi has a lot of good options in the air. Oh. Quick 76 percent. I'm actually so surprised that Weezer even opted to spot dodge right there. Perfect awareness from him from guessing Sepko's offensive option because you know had Sepko charged that even a little bit longer, he would have had a very juicy punish. But he is on the verge of mounting a comeback. This man Weezer had three stocks at the beginning of this, but Sepko slowly bringing it back. Will he be able to bring it to a last stock scenario? Is the truth yet to be seen? Back throw coming off from Weezer here. Right now, what's he gonna do? Air dodge is into stage, tries to get the up tilts. You gotta always remember, like, one thing that kind of people sometimes forget about Ryu, it's now that snap. He, like, he can just keep doing that for days and wait for the turnaround. He doesn't have to do any manual input there. Boom. And that's gonna actually confirm into the show you and kill. And Weezer is gonna take that game 2 0. Really nice job coming out there. And hey, I was bashing Ryu for some of that game. I don't think he's the best character in the world, but Weezer making him look like a damn, damn good character. Yeah, it, Ryu's one of those characters where the, the, the lab monsters are exactly that, right? They're the lab monsters. I mean, it's even like with the Ices players, right? We're waiting for like that, that one Ices player to kind of make their way and do some destruction to a bracket. And I know they're out there. I mean, y'all seen the Twitter clips. Until like Nintendo patches some of that jank out, if they do, which I feel like is a very high probability for a character There's like There's definitely Isis, a good chance, yeah. Um, we could see that being one of those characters, and I think Ryu is no different. Like, you've seen the lab monsters that do their stuff, or you can cancel this aerial into this special and this and that, and shield break setups, but there's just no one really who wants to invest all that time. People that were leading the way in Smash 4, like Locust, for example, they just dropped them. They just didn't like it. They just felt like a completely different character to them. So we're going to see what Ryu does. Uh, hopefully my man uh, Weezer gets a little further in bracket, maybe has some other juicy stuff that he hasn't quite shown us yet. But until then, we're going to keep making our way through the bracket, man. Here at Collision, it's been an absolute blast, man. It's been an absolute blast. Like, I was kind of saying before, like, I mentioned this to you mm -hmm. on Twitter, like, this is kind of like a full circle for me. This, this tournament is where I started. Like, I'm now like sponsored by the Collision Series. I'm like now, like, I work with the staff constantly to help produce incredible events for Tri-State. But someone like RJ, the main TO, is just like a gift to this community. And hosting events like this every single year and being able to do all this stuff, it started everything for me. Like, I've done so many events, and this is actually where I met you. It's true. Last year. Last year at last Collision, year, baby. Like, was the first time we met, and now, where are we? We're right here, casting each other with the homie. My boy. But, we're gonna get going into a new game soon right now. I swear, I've seen this dude on the right before, and I think, yep, that this is Supermonic 5000, if I'm correct. This man uh, went to my locals back in the day, and I was afraid of him, very much so. Why, this he was man, gonna beat you up? Yeah, uh, <laughs> in, in something. <laughs> no, but this guy was, I believe, a Mario main in Smash 4. So I mentioned I have never seen him play Ultimate, okay. uh, not even a single time. But I'm interested to see where where he's gonna go. Is that the Let's Make Moves? They let the Let's Make Moves set on here. Doesn't even say Collision. Uh, who? What? Who? Where? When? What? Why? No, you didn't catch me, what? man. It's all good. 
No, it's Collision. Nice, right, so yeah. Welcome to Collision. I mean, well, you can right. You were talking about how uh, you know Collision was where we met. How it's a great tournament series in general. I mean, I was telling RJ yeah. earlier today. I mean, look how far he's come, man. I mean, he said like this is his first time ever printing out staff 